Hi and welcome back. Uh, we are back in Bleakburn and we are still on the Bullstrom family. I was planning to do one episode for one day but they went on vac vacation and it was crazy. There's probably another way to do this but I will do it like uh, vacation days are free days and I, I think I probably going to uh, be very sparse on who goes on vacation or if you have another suggestion maybe there's like a mod that makes the people that uh, went on vacation be gone for three days when they get back maybe if it's an entire household I probably will move them forwards in time because uh, I don't think that's fair to everybody else. But I don't know how to sync this. Um, <laughs> so. All right, so these two were on vacation. What are they doing? They're having a casual boohoo. All right, and um, one of them wanted a baby, but now they don't anymore. How did that happen? Okay, I think Nicholas wanted a baby because he's a family sim. According to her sign, so should Katharina be, but she is not. So, but they tried three times and if she's not pregnant, uh, they are going to have to adopt if they want a baby. So, <laughs> but they're doing a casual woohoo and that's allowed. I didn't direct them to, they just did it on their own. While on vacation, uh, Mindy here, she found she found so much treasure. Look at how much money they have. I'm gonna check my notes. She found like vases and treasure chests and everything. So she actually found 14,500 worth of treasure and that I'm not counting the bones and stones that people picked up because it's so little money. But she found <laughs> the big stuff. So she's gonna have a big college fund when she goes to college because she is 18 now and uh, I made the decision that they can go as soon as they're 18 if they have an A in school. It could be an A minus as soon as they have an A. But she has a C and she wants to go to college so I'm going to take that as she wants to do her homework and stuff and Niklas is going to be fair to her oops transmit money to a bank account at least 5000 to her bank account so she can ha have a good start because they uh, they took some of the money she found and fixed the house um, on the vacation lot so they can sell that if they ever get in money troubles but Mindy will have oh my goodness was it's not good down here is it <laughs> it's very bad down here oh my goodness you have roaches and everything this isn't good you can get the flu you can all die that's not very good at all so you fix that uh oh i hope they're good friends Mindy there we go and now we can see how much she got so she has 5,000 on her account now. I'll just note that in case in case something happens. Like in case I take the mod out or something. <laughs> okay, so now he wants to serve food. Or you can do that, I guess. Serve lunch. Grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah, all right. <laughs> do that. <laughs> um, this is the first time since I reinstalled this game that I actually see someone being able to make grilled cheese sandwiches. Is that because he's very good at cooking? Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Katarina is up for a promotion if she uh, plays her cards, right? Oh, and here's Aaron. I think she would greet him if she saw him on the street. You can do that after you have greeted him. You can pick this up. Oh my goodness, now he waited too long. There we go. Mm. Oh my god, you can't just start kissing him. What is going on? Okay, so she has dated him before. Uh, but uh, yeah, I didn't think about they do that when they greet each other. So, um, okay. Well, um, that was nice. You can like talk to him. No, 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 no. Don't go in. <laughs> you can talk to him for a bit and then he has to leave. 
<laughs> oh, she wants to ask someone on a date. Uh, I wonder if she wants to ask him on. Who is this? Kim Jansson. Okay. <laughs> well, oh, she has locked have fi five first dates. First dates. Oh dear, you gotta do different people then, do not you? <laughs> All right. Well, okay, okay. Be people lie to this man over here. Just have a little chat with him and then say goodbye to him. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> also, um, since Nicholas is 42 years old and Katarina is only 25, I figure that if someone uh, is infertile, it's him. So Katarina is allowed three baby tries with other people, but she doesn't want a baby. So she won't do that, <laughs> but you know, she is allowed. Oh, and the reason why she has seven <laughs> one slots here is because she got an extra one from the vacation. Anyway, she has work, but not until tonight. Oh. We, we can queue up to call someone and see who she can, can date. Oh, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Didn't I tell you to serve food? Was that not a thing that you wanted to do? We can learn anger management. I, something. Oh, he already started and then he stopped. All right. Well, there's no way to put things back into the refrigerator. As we all know, once you're taking the food out of the refrigerator, uh, it's it's out and, and you, t you can take it back. <laughs> what happens here? Uh, Chanel is just about to sign off on this year's yearbook for final printing when one of the editors makes startling discovery Somebody had replaced the principal's pictures with an image of a toilet The joke could cost Chanel her job and all the students could face serious detention time On the other hand the yearbook is already over budget and the principal may find it funny Is she a journalist? I thought it was, she was in a dancing career she wants to be in the dancing career. All right, so uh, I think she's going to leave it in because uh, she doesn't really care about this job and it's a funny joke. So she leaves it in. Chanel knows the school district cannot afford a yearbook recall, so she takes a chance and tells the publisher to move ahead with the printing. Knowing it's probably best not to leave these things to chance, Chanel also calls the principal and tells him about the unfortunate error. The principal is a bit annoyed at first, but the ultimate c he ultimately comes around when Chanel makes a normally lame joke about toilets and flushing. Before the phone, phone call ends, the principal thanks Chanel for making the difficult decision to save the school district money, even at the chance of losing her job. Chanel earns a charisma skill point. Well, that's handy. Who has been fiddling my, my share? I've got new headphones. Do you like them? <laughs> because I do. All right, so she told Aaron to go. Bye bye, Aaron. Great. So who had, oh, who is this dude? Knut Aliotto. She can like talk to him for a bit and see if he wants to go on a date after. Oh, he's not even here. Well. Well, she can talk to him anyways, but then we gotta call somebody else. Knut, okay. <clears throat> so maybe uh, Katarina uh, meets him again at vacation? I, did, I forgot about that. I thought there were townies and they will just show up in this neighborhood, but they're actually living in the other world. <laughs> Where you go on vacation. So you can invite them as house guests. Interesting, interesting. This then, this is at university. They can come over. So, and they're good friends too. Uh, okay, just talk for a bit. Who is this even? Tore Grip. Okay. Well, ask Tore on a date then, I suppose. Nicholas will never find out. He has no idea. He just want to learn. Anger management, study anger management. Fun fact, when you run this game on in Swedish, you have all these um, 
physiology and anger management and fire safety is it's in uh, a different category than the skill <laughs> category because it's read about and and study i think <laughs> so there wasn't like translation error but i think it's handy so i get all confused when it's all bundled up <laughs> oh you need to put on clothes katarina you can't but be like, uh, hey, where's the dresser? Is this a dresser? Yes. Change it to every day. Hey, you can't go out like that. <laughs> well, I mean, it looks nice. Go to a community lot. Don't take anyone with you. Here you go. Mindy is home from school. And since she wants to go to university and sh her needs are all full, we'll direct her to do her homework if she got any. What is going on? <laughs> okay, so no homework. Um, well, that's great. I don't like it, but okay, all right. I had this issue before. I did. I thought it was gone, but apparently it's this neighborhood. They don't get homework over here. All right, so where are we gonna go? Um, I think we're gonna go to the technique center. Just because I built that, and it took a long time. So now you bloody well better use it. <laughs> Our phone's ringing. Since you don't have homework, you can answer the phone. I'm actually pretty annoyed that she didn't get homework. <laughs> it cheated, but okay. All right, fine. Oh, the lady from the orphanage is calling Niklas. I wonder why, why she does that. Like, did he send an application already to adopt? Well, he might have done. I don't know. Well, that's a fantastic camera angle. Hello. Oh, there you are. See, I think it's such a good spot for the technique center because they have the observatory over here uh, that we can pretend that they go to. And also we have all these telescopes over here uh, and they can, uh, they could spy on the town if they wanted to. And uh, yeah, I think <laughs> Like, I, I love the sky. I never had the skyline and the custom sky when I played in the before time. And it just makes the game look... As, it, it's just night and day, honestly. Stupid. Oh, no! Wait, Aaron, don't come wandering over here because now it's gonna be awkward. No! It's going to be all upset and stuff. All right, anyways. Oh, she wants to go on the electro dance sphere. Well, let's start with that. Let's uh, ignore the date. <laughs> Do an easy spin on the electro... What, what, did, what was it called? Electro dance sphere. Because, I mean, her want is to go, go on five first date, but it says nothing about how she wants them to go. <laughs> What's her lifetime wish? She wants to have 50 dream dates. All right, okay, so we'll, we'll try to make it a dream date then. She wanted to go on this thing, so I'm ready her. Oh my God, that's loud. <laughs> Are you okay? Time is running out. Well, go talk to this dude, whoever it is. We can't see who it is. <laughs> okay, yes, stop this now. See, now you're all woozy and stuff. <laughs> well, that was fun, I guess. We gotta do some power dating here. Uh, BFF, play. Okay, play. We can do that quickly by tickle. There you go. And then she wants to entertain him as well. Entertain. Oh, do a school share. Because they went to university. And she wants to gain a skill point. Good, good dating stuff, Catalina. And now she wants to dance with him. Do we have a stereo or something? No, no, no music. So well, we could do the classic dance. We don't need music for that. That's fine. <laughs> People do that, right? All the time. But I want, uh, why isn't Aaron? Did I turn off jealousy again? It's not allowed to be turned off. No, see, it's at normal. I have no idea why this keeps happening. Oh well. Are you okay in there? 
Okay, well, she wants to play chess, so I mean, I guess we'll go do that. This is turning out to be a very strange date. Like, she doesn't want to do any stuff. <laughs> but, you know, you could ask him to join you at least. Ah, oh, no, what's the point? Don't do that then. What is happening now? Watch prank. <laughs> oh, he got pranked. Well, does she need to start playing before she can ask him to join? We don't actually have to... Ha okay, now we're talking. <laughs> Alright, okay. It's gonna cause drama. But it doesn't matter. K kiss, kiss this dude. Because she doesn't care about how many lovers she has. She doesn't want to go 51st dates and have them all be dream dates. <laughs> that's that's all. Okay, stop playing chess. Ooh. Yeah, Akaboog. Come on. <laughs> to be honest, I, I do feel like dates are kind of overpowering because ev whenever you take a sim on a date, you get them in platinum mode. So, like, you, you, can, you can just get them in platinum by endlessly dating but i guess that's fine oh all the town is just aged up a day that's good so bala only has two days before celebrating a birthday oh, that is good gunnar will grow gunnar <laughs> gunnar will grow up grow up now i can't talk because i keep throwing swedish names in there <laughs> oh, it's not easy okay so we, oh, yeah, okay, so kiss him again then. And sometimes when you, they have the one to kiss, it will turn into... Why are you ringing the door of our community a lot? Stop it. No, we can't, we can't even talk to her. All right. No, because we don't live here. Boonie is your skin. Why does she keep getting ones like that? Uh, okay, so Pleasant Sims has a chart of what aspirations Sims would get if they... Maybe we should change her, actually. Based on the zodiac sign, Pleasant Sims has a chart of what is the true aspiration for, for each Sims. And it's based on what townies usually have when they have that sign. They are generated by the game with a set aspiration based on that. So, I think it's actually based on the personality, but that, that will coincide with the signs. So, anyway, so for Katarina, the true aspiration is actually family. And my rule says, oh, I forgot to paint this wall here. <laughs> when they grow up to be teenagers, I randomize their aspiration because they don't know. And then, when they, if they go to college, they find themselves. In my mind so then we set the true aspiration based on the sign uh, and then there's also secondary aspiration we when which we will get to but Katarina was actually a townie that had the family aspiration from the start and I changed it by randomizing in college because I didn't ha I I hadn't set this rule up yet then so now I'm thinking maybe we should change back but then again maybe not <laughs> because she has this now so she could be a secondary family aspiration if she comes I can't check this now but my rule is if they have filled two of the trees they can set a secondary aspiration or when they turn 40 then they can do that because in their 40s <laughs> they can have a crisis and have uh, like sort of a life panic and then that will force them to realize their uh, all their interests or something it makes sense in my head all right <laughs> okay so it's fine uh is this a dream date yet apparently not not yet she wants to be best friends with him oh got a bit of a way oh she now she wants to woohoo all right we'll i'll take care of that it's gone why is there no casual menu? I have no idea why it's not there. It should be here. Well, let's get in the photo booth then. Aren't you able to? Why aren't you able to do that? Go there. Don't you love these stairs too? They're special. Mm, okay. 
Well, since you think I'm so attractive, let's have a say hello to you then. <laughs> hello, Gunnar. Wasn't he going to age up? Alright. Now she can get in. Where's my date? Ask to join. This is also very confusing in Swedish. It's like... No, what are you doing? Don't stand here. <laughs> that is very creepy of you, sir. What are you doing? I said hello to you. Don't not please stalk me forever. She will not try for baby because she does not have anyone to have a baby. But she can woohoo all right. That's fine. And then can we also take a picture or this? Maybe when we don't want a picture of this. <laughs> oh, I was just thinking, doesn't this count as a woohoo? So now it's a dream date so we can end it. Goodbye. <laughs> end <the date. laughs> and we can go home. As if nothing happened. Oh, but maybe she wants to do some... She wants to gain a skill point. And she wants to look at the neighbors. Well, that's not possible right now, Katarina. You need to be doing that at daytime. <laughs> I, they always get the wrong wish. They get the wish to look at the neighbors and during the night and then during the day they want to stargaze. It's very annoying. So play some pinball, I guess. Oh, hello, Asta. I don't know what it is, but I th think the sim looks so pretty. Oh, not like that. Stop worrying. What are you worrying about? Oh, she wants to have babies. <laughs> it seems. Oh, hello. Okay. Now you gotta hurry home so that Niklas doesn't notice that you're gone uh, for several hours. He won't. He won't notice. But it's, it's fine, right? Don't go do that. But actually, if you're gonna, oh, she has a mobile phone. But she. It's nice to also have a game to play if if your fun needs are low. Maybe just play this. It's handy tell you like whenever their fun is low they just stop and play a game like every person on the planet right now with a mobile phone we just stop and look at our phones we're going to have to direct Chanel to find a job when she gets home because she wants to be a famous ballet dancer and she gotta get a move on that um, well now she's all happy she wants all sorts of crap stay home from work juggle and she wants to gain a skill point of some kind i don't know i'm gonna let her do whatever she wants <laughs> uh what are you doing all oh, right he's studying anger management and he still wants why don't you ever do this properly oh well, there was something about the phone too all right <laughs> right he's talking to the orphanage I'm so annoyed he lost the want to have a baby because he did have it. That's why I had him try for baby, but now he doesn't want that anymore. But I think he does. I mean, he has a family, so. And he he has no children, so I think... Oh no, this is what I went off. Alright, so he hasn't got the want to have a baby, but he wants to marry off ch six children. And he has no children. So that's why he wants to adopt. That is why. Now, since he is talking to the orphanage, we could set this up. Uh, whenever. So we'll go to neighborhood. All right. We are at the orphanage. And here we have Kimi Ojimaragi. Uh, that is seeing over the all, all the children. <laughs> and currently there is only two. Oh, and someone tried to sell lemonade. It, it didn't go so well. All right. Um, currently there is only two. Oh, she wants to be best friend with little Sandra over here. Uh, so we have Sandra. The, this is a sim I made a long time ago and shared on the internet and I thought it would be fun to put in my game. And then we have, oh, <laughs> Debbie over here that uh, was the oldest orphan townie in the game so I added her. So now the Bostrom family has these two to choose from. So we're gonna summon them over with this little shrubbery. Oh, and when I say oldest, I go on file name. So 
next time it might be a child. Um, anyway, so we're gonna... How come I cannot summon Nicholas? Oh well, Katarina, you will have to do it. <laughs> He's already here. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. I did not do this. He is here for some reason. <laughs> All right. See, he really wants children. So the thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have them each talk to a child. Uh, whichever one is closest, I guess. So where is... So he can talk to Debbie first. Talk to her. Chat. And Katarina, you go talk to Sandra because you... she's here. Talk. And it's Monday over here. All right. It <laughs> doesn't matter. Let's, let's just go with that somehow. It's supposed to be Friday. I think I haven't played this since I started sinking the days. There we go. Oh, she's supposed to be at work now. Oh, well, let's just have Nicholas do this whole thing and, and uh, Katarina can just go away. <laughs> so she doesn't miss work. I don't think she will miss. No, no. Oh, no, it's fine. Right. So we'll say that uh, at nine o'clock, like, so they have three hours to um, spend time with these children and whoever they like the most will have have a look see by then they will uh, adopt and then Nicholas has taken in um, foster par uh, foster parents Nicholas has taken in foster children before and uh, the way this works is you gotta have them for some time before they can be actually be adopted but we're not going anywhere who who tries to go away <laughs> Kimmy you need to stay here <laughs> oversee everything oh I see I can see nothing I think this is the welcome wagon or something uh, she, so she can just oh my goodness what are you doing the Veronica and the the call are flirting I think she said hello to everyone already all right so they're talking to can I queue up, talk to the other one immediately? Maybe that's best. Talk. Let's do a chat. Um, the stupid thing about this is it, it usually just give them 15 relationship here. <laughs> but you know. Oh, they're already at 15. So he's done already. Well, she's not done. Maybe I can just... You can see if they interact by themselves or something. No, he was. What do you want to do? Oh yeah, cool. hang up. <laughs> He's very neat, so he wants to fix everything. Yeah, you gotta hang up the phone, Nicholas. Can't leave it on the ground like that. Who would do that? Which sort of monster would have the phone on the ground? Now the special thing about Sandra is she's the only sim in the game now that has freckles. <laughs> because I didn't put it on anyone else. And they're actually uh, they're attached to the eye color so it will inherit. So that I thought that was very cool back in the day. See, now she only wants to play her game and stuff. Did you already talk to her? Yeah, you did. So, how do I decide what they do? He has like no desire to talk to her. Well, maybe you could talk about what's your hobby. Oh, she likes, okay, she likes games, I guess. <laughs> She's from another culture, so that could be interesting. Talk about how we like uh, do games because she, she's playing a game and see if Debbie here is into that at all. Well, she seems to humor her, <laughs> but then maybe she is into games. Talk about games with this little one and you. Oh, he likes tinkering, so he can try and talk to... This is probably be, going to be like a tough call or something. Because I, oh, he has like five in a long lifetime, or is that a free? I can't see the difference between three and five in this game <laughs> for some reason. All right, oh, he didn't. okay, so that went good, I guess. No, don't flirt with her. Uh, I mean, uh, tell about travels. That that seems <laughs> he can see she's from the other culture, so he wants to tell her she he he was just there. 
Uh, and she wants to probably do... Well, do a tickle. No, she didn't like that. Oh no! Oh no! Sandra, that could cost you your uh, adoptive parents. Don't be mean to them, you know? Uh, can we do... Play catch? You want to do that? Okay. See, now we have the casual menu. I don't understand why I didn't have it over there. Right. Do a joke. And then just keep chatting. I don't know. No. <laughs> I want to clean this up, but I don't think I should spend the time. Alright, and... Time's up. <laughs> so now we, we shake. Okay, so she likes Sandra like 17 over 1 and the other girl 20. So she, so if it was up to Katarina, she would choose Debbie and Nicholas also chooses Debbie. So this was actually not hard to choose. So Nicholas is going to go finalize this with Kimmy all her over. <laughs> and he goes, how much money do you want again? Well, it costs a thousand simoleons, but he, he, she doesn't want to. Well, I want to, I want to adopt little Debbie. So why are you upset about the money? Well, she, uh, she will just have to accept this. So we'll make uh, unselectable all visitors and save. Now this is kind of strange with the with the time. They were actually ahead a little bit. So I think Debbie's not gonna come over. And it really doesn't matter. So they're gonna be uh, foster parents for Debbie at first. I'm gonna use this bush. <laughs> and Salmon, Salmon Yamaraki, Debbie. Oh, the game thinks <laughs> that, um, Kim is already here because he's talking to her on the phone. So she is gonna just live here for a little bit and then if everything goes well and she does okay in school and everything, then they can adopt her. So we're gonna move in Debbie and I think we should have it add, use this memory adjuster to have everyone remember this. Add good memory for base game, moved in. I don't know if you can have... I don't know what I was saying, but um, beautiful Debbie here. <laughs> Isn't she pretty? She's very pretty. Um, she is going to be the foster child of um, Nicholas and Katarina for three days or something. Are we going to do three days? Yeah, because she's uh, 12 now and in three days she's going to be 15. So... Uh, and, and then they can adopt her and she will officially be their child uh, unless something goes wrong so that's what we're trying to do um, like Nicholas he didn't <laughs> he tried for baby three times and it didn't look like his wife was pregnant so he went ahead and got a foster child and I don't think he's gonna be sad if it's if it turns out that Katarina is actually pregnant, but I don't think she is. So, um, yeah, he gotta move on. They gotta, like, talk to this poor girl now. Talk to her a bit when you're done and you can talk to her directly. Where are you going? Oh, she is upset that there's roaches. <laughs> yeah, where are they? There they are. She can, she can spray them. So we don't get any diseases. She has seen that in her life. Maybe that's where her parents are. I don't know what happened. She goes, I was actually sent here by boat and it was very long. Um, oh, Chanel is home. She goes, uh, who's this? <laughs> she has been promoted to blog writer and she got a bonus and stuff. At some point she might m want to move out. We can figure that out then with money and everything. And I think Mindy could have a little bit more in her bank account. I mean, she only got 5,000 and she earned 14,000 on vacation. So she can go here and put in some more money, deposit like uh, 3,000, then they still have 
2,000 left. Why are you sad now? What happened? Oh no, she she doesn't like the vermin. Yeah, no, that's that's tough. Put away these leftovers. Nicholas put out a lot of food. And like, he might as well resume cooking that. Oh no, Deb is sick with the flu. See, I said... All right, okay. All right, so Nicholas can uh, serve that. He will do Grandma's comfort soup later, but uh, Debbie, you can just go and rest. Oh wait, we don't have a, we don't have a bed for f for her. Oh no, and we gotta pay the orphanage. Oh dear, uh, so many things. Transmit money to household funds. Playable a thousand. Uh, education care. Oh, she wants to be a ballet dancer, so we want to have the dance career for her. Everyone is on the computer. Adventure? No. Um, Debbie, go to bed. Go and relax in bed. Oh, she has a lot of ones. Uh, she wants to get into private school. Uh, we'll lock that in for her because... What are her grades? C? Alright, okay. Um, because uh, we are not allowed to lock in the one for college until they're 18 and uh, so oh dance career take job yes you will lose that job that's fine but you have a lifetime one you know she oh she's a knowledge in so she wants to reach creativity level five um, yeah, you can go practice <laughs> oh she doesn't know her oh, that's inconvenient oh she could do that too to Sandra. For some reason Mindy knows Sandra and then she can just send the money to her household. There we go. All paid for and everything. I don't know if there's gonna be an extra fee when you actually adopt later. What are you doing here, Glenn? How did you get here? What are you doing here? Like, are you just going to stand there? Ah. Where did Aaron come from? Do we have a party? Like, okay, I can't, th things might happen, I don't know. I'm just serving sandwiches and I have a sick Debbie here. <laughs> uh, and Catalina's carpool <laughs> will arrive shortly. <laughs> so she might go to work and not do anything stupid. Like she has a pleasure Simpson and she wants to date everybody, so that's complicate things. All right, Nicholas, stop, stop doing that. You're supposed to serve the grandma's comfort soup. Like, put this away too. Like, there's so many foods here. There's so much food. Oh, oh, like, what are you doing? Put leftovers of, away. Did someone eat of that? Yeah, Katarina did. All right, well, we, we can put it away anyway. Oh dear. Put away leftovers. Now she wants to buy a toy making bench. Do that. She will talk about hobby instead. That's a good trade off. Uh, cuisine. There's a lot of food here, you know. <laughs> oh no, Debbie's coughing. Like she got here and she immediately got sick. That's not a good sign. That That is bad. Um, go. Go back to bed. So relax. Put your tushy down on this bed. You can have a good read or something. Uh, read, yeah, so you don't get bored. I would have her sleep, but she's not tired. <laughs> and um, I don't know if we should keep her isolated. Like she has the COVID, you know. <laughs> so, so she she now needs to like not infect everybody else. Oh, there's grandma's... Ah, eat this delicious soup. It will make you feel better. I don't know if it will cure her, but it will make her feel better. So let's just have her eat this. Oh, you're going to get fat if you, if you keep eating everything. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm put the way leftovers of that too. Please get healthy. Like, imagine if they... like took a foster child in and he died of the flu. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, everybody aged up. Okay, so Niklas is now 43. Katharina is 26. Chanel is 23. 
Mindy is 19 and Debbie is 13. Oh no, she's so sick. Oh no. Stop it, you'll infect Nicholas. Eat this and then go relax when you're done. I know you have to pee, but you can wait with that until you absolutely have to go. We need to buy a bed for her as well. Um, but I don't know where to put it. Oh, nice shape there, Aaron. Um, do we actually need to move them out? This house is not good for them anymore. I don't think this family... Yeah, we, we need to move them uh, later when there's an issue. <laughs> she didn't get healthy from that. Oh no. Chanel, you need to fill this bowl up because the, the pets should not have to starve. They have food down there, but the puppy can't get there. Little Buster. <laughs> hey, is Katarina available to talk? Um, no, she's at work actually, so you can't talk to her. Sorry. <sighs> Why is the phone always ringing? Is Nicholas available to talk? Sure. Why not? Like he's asleep, but he'll get up for you. She wants to buy a car, and this lot. I could put a driveway in here somehow. But I don't really know. Do you want to go to downtown? No, we, we can't handle that right now. <laughs> no downtown. No, 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 no. So you, you need to direct her to actually read and daydream and stuff so she stays in bed. And Niklas wants to learn everything in the world about things. We can direct her, him to do that. And Chanel. That's not your bed. This is your bed and I understand that you don't want to sleep next to this guy. <laughs> so okay, he, she's sleeping over here now and Mindy is sleeping here since Debbie took her bed. Um, but it's fine because Nicholas is not using the bed right now. Oh well, maybe he should talk to Aaron. I don't know. Debbie is healthy again. Hooray. Okay, no more flu. Did we dispose of all the, the cockroaches like if she goes down here to dispose of them when she gets sick again i hope not because they're dead now so no more disease on them i don't know how the game works uh like in reality that would not help okay i b appear to be offline that's fine now we can have mindy go be in the right bed now <laughs> oh no everyone is going to be uh, unsynced but that's fine. I, th I think I'm actually gonna move them out now and uh, they will go to uh, Saturday morning and it's gonna be fine. I don't know where I'm gonna move them in, but I'm gonna put this for sale sign here so that people know that this house is for sale. They're gonna move and I'm gonna pack everything that I can up and um, move them out. So next episode, we are back with Professor Rongedal. Oh right, didn't these people want puppies from him? Apparently not. Okay, <laughs> completely forgot about that. Yeah, he'll he'll try to sell the puppies to someone. These people said they wanted puppies, so they will have to stand for their world or something. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and um, and don't forget to uh, comment. And put a thumbs up and uh, everything and have a super duper time I'll see you next time and I see you then bye um, oh my god <laughs> so I just moved them in and you know when when the game zooms in um, you don't have any, any control over what your sims does and what Chanel did she actually tried to First kiss Nicholas. Oh, they. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, they got this house. They figured they can fit everybody's bed in here somehow. They didn't have too much money on hand. I just realized they have. So they have money to to expend. What are we going to do about this? Like, I'm gonna leave them like this, but I don't think this is going to go down well at all. So that's a teaser for next time we play this family. <laughs> all right, bye for real this time. Bye.